It's the closest thing to magic in space. A study in the New Journal of Physics proposes testing out one of quantum physics' weirdest predictions using the International Space Station. The experiment is meant to test quantum entanglement, a phenomenon Einstein once called spooky action at a distance. When two particles are entangled, what happens to one affects the other, no matter the distance between them. Scientists can entangle particles easily these days, so to test a theory, they can create an entangled pair of, say, photons, fire one off into the distance and keep one at the lab, then measure both and see if they react the same way. But a writer for MIT Technology Review says there's a limit to these studies. The furthest scientists have sent entangled photons is just 144 kilometers. And because of atmospheric losses and the curvature of the Earth's surface, the only way to go further is to fire photons straight upwards into space. So what's upwards in space and filled with science equipment? Only the most expensive vehicle ever built, the $150 billion International Space Station. It even already has the right equipment, a motorized 400 millimeter lens mounted in the station's cupola, a seven windowed observation deck that gives astronauts these awesome views of the Earth. Assuming the researchers get permission for their proposal, all they would need to do is send a new type of sensor to the ISS. Then, when the station passes overhead, send as many entangled photons as they can to carry out two main experiments. The first experiment is just to see whether the theory of entanglement holds at a distance of 250 miles. But the researchers also want to see whether a new kind of secure communication network is feasible, quantum satellite internet. According to a writer for Vice's Motherboard magazine, quantum entanglement could hold the key to truly secure communication, because no one else could listen in without distorting the message and letting both parties know there was an intruder. If the experiments are successful, the ISS could become a kind of relay station for the world's first unbreakable encryption keys. And maybe if we're lucky, a form of communication that happens faster than light. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toombs.